open channel flow is the area of hydraulic engineering that deals with the analysis and design of open channels. Open channel flow differs from closed conduit flow in that it has a free surface. Closed conduit flow is under pressure, while open channel flow is not. The presence of a free surface makes open channel flow somewhat more complex than closed conduit flow. The free surface is likely to vary in space and time. In closed conduit flow, the cross section is fixed. In open channels, the flow cross section is not fixed, varying with the flow. This photo shows the Welton Mohawk Canal in Arizona, immediately downstream of a pumping station. In open channels, the boundary roughness varies with the nature of the material surrounding the channel, either plastic, steel, concrete, or, in case of unlined canals or natural streams, soils and vegetation. This photo shows the Dulzura Conduit in San Diego County, California, overflowing after heavy rains on March 5, 2005. These photos show the stream channel in adjacent floodplain, La Silla River Natural Park, Monterrey, Mexico. Boundary friction varies widely within and among channels. Boundary friction varies with the flow regime and may also vary with the flow level. This is particularly the case for natural channels, which may occasionally overflow their banks. This photo shows the floodplain of the Yokanukani River near Thomastown, Mississippi. In channel flow capable of moving its own bed, the flow interacts with the boundary, producing a type of bed roughness, for example, ripples, dunes, or plain bed. Storm sewer flow often looks like pipe flow, but generally behaves as open channel flow. Culverts are highway underpasses designed to convey stream flow. In certain cases, both pressurized and free surface flow conditions may occur in the same culvert at different times. In open channel flow, the channel cross sections may be 1. prismatic or 2. non-prismatic. Prismatic channels retain the same cross-sectional shape along the channel. Non-prismatic channels vary the cross-sectional shape. Artificial channels are usually prismatic, while natural channels are non-prismatic. The flow variables are mean velocity, V, flow area, A, discharge, Q, equal V times A, bottom width, B, top width, T, Weather perimeter, P. Hydraulic radius, R, equal A over P. Hydraulic depth, D, equal A over T. Flow depth, D. Channel bottom elevation, Z. Water surface elevation, or stage, Y equals Z plus D. In prismatic channels, Y is often used to refer to flow depth when it cannot be confused with stage. Open channel flow is classified as 1. Steady or 2. Unsteady. Steady flow does not change in time. Unsteady flow changes in time. Open channel flow is classified as 1. Uniform or 2. Equilibrium. Uniform flow describes steady flow of constant depth in a prismatic channel. In a non-prismatic or natural channel, equilibrium flow describes steady flow in which the average water surface slope is approximately equal to the average bottom slope. Open channel flow is classified as 1. Gradually varied or 2. Rapidly varied. Gradually varied flow is that in which vertical accelerations are negligible. Flow in channels without control structures is usually gradually varied flow. Rapidly varied flow is that in which vertical accelerations are not negligible. 
flow in the vicinity of control structures is usually of the rapidly varied flow type. This photo shows the spillway of Sheep Creek Barrier Dam near Cedar City, Utah. This is a sediment retention dam built in the 1960s by the U.S. Bureau of Reclamation. Spatially varied flow is that in which the discharge changes along the channel. Unsteady uniform flow does not exist. Open channel flow cannot be unsteady and uniform at the same time. Steady, gradually varied flow entails the calculation of water surface profiles. The calculation of water surface profiles is commonly referred to as a backwater computation. Examples of steady, rapidly varied flow are 1. Flow over spillways, 2. The hydraulic jump, and 3. The hydraulic drop. This photo shows Devil's Throat, a spectacular natural drop at Iguazu Falls along the border between Brazil and Argentina. Unsteady gradually varied flow is flood waves. This photo shows a major flood in progress on the Chane River near Santa Cruz, Bolivia on January 19, 1990. Examples of unsteady rapidly varied flow are 1. Surges 2. Roll waves 3. Tidal bores 4. Kinematic shocks and 5. Debris flows This photo shows a surface wave on the Hasayampa River near Morristown, Arizona during the flood of February 9, 1993. Surges are relatively fast changes in flow depth which may originate in sudden gate closures. Roll waves are small wave trains resulting from flow instability in steep artificial channels. This photo shows roll waves on the spillway at Turner Dam, San Diego County, California, spilling on February 24, 2005. Tidal bores are produced at certain times of the year in shallow estuaries featuring a large tidal range. A tidal bore originates in the ocean and moves inland, traveling upstream in a river. This photo shows a tidal bore ascending the Araguari River in Amapá, Brazil on January 22, 1989. This photo shows the Han Chao bore at Hainin on the Chiantang River, China. Kinematic shocks are flood waves that steepen while they propagate until the rising limb becomes, for all practical purposes, a wall of water. They occur in hydraulically wide streams under the right combination of flow conditions. Unlike tidal bores, kinematic shocks travel downstream. Debris flows are flood waves with a very high concentration of sediments. Debris flows are produced in certain regions under a gamut of geomorphological, ecological, and climatic factors, among which are 1. Steep slopes 2. Type of vegetation 3. Strong winds 4 wildland fires, and five, intense rains. Lahars are a type of debris flow produced by rapid snowmelt following a volcanic eruption. 